Thanks all for being here um, and happy holidays. Uh, we're excited to be back home after a long stretch on the road, uh, which I think we learned a lot about ourselves, both as coaches and as a team. And um, despite the outcome against Colorado, I think we um, we got a win at Boise, at, or versus Boise at Colorado in the tournament, and taking steps forward, um, taking on a tough Virginia Tech team who, uh, got a little tested um, in their tournament in San Juan, uh, where they went one and two as well. But I think um, you know their skill team, Kenny Brooks does a great job with them. But we're excited about the challenge to be back home and uh, playing with a little bit of momentum. And uh, then we get to start the Big Ten. Um, and you know we know the road life already. So I think um, as far as our preparation and things of that nature, it won't be too out of, uh, out of sync for us. So just uh, ready to turn the peach. Questions? Brandon? Coach Brooke Schrammick had a big game for you the other day. What have you seen from her so far and what's really stood out? Yeah, uh, I think she actually had a career high um, at 11 points. And um, more than anything, I think Brooke has the ability to um, be a great offensive rebounder for us. She really is starting to battle defensively. We can move around. She can play the four or the five for us. I think she's starting to understand how she can be a playmaker from that pinch post area for us. Um, and just being even more confident with her outside shot, that gives us another weapon. So if we've got four perimeter um, offensive scorers, we can give more space in the paint for drives and for dump downs to Sarah. Marissa, in your first year, how um, are you sure you're still learning about your team? How long do you think that process will take? Is that a month, season long process, just kind of learning what you have and what, what you can work with? Yeah, I think, you know, we talked about this a little bit as a staff. I think, um, you know, we were we had a little bit of a rhythm going, and when Julie went back home to play, I think we got a little bit sidetracked with that rhythm, and so I think we're getting back into a flow. Um, I think it's a yeah, it's an ongoing process. I don't think you ever fully know them. Um, I think there's also the trust that's still being built, um, both them trusting me and 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 put them in position to be successful, and them trusting. Um, themselves that they can do the things and, and trusting the game plan um, and we can point to them when we do that um, and execute then it's pretty successful and if we kind of go a little bit AWOL then we don't have the same results we're looking for so um, I hope it's not a season long thing um, but you know this is a this is the time of the year where you are learning and growing and um, you know if we were peaking right now I think you would all say that I was a miracle worker and I am <laughs> not so um, we're just going to keep chipping away. Marissa, that uh, that win against Boise, how important was that just to kind of get back on track and and you know, with the momentum that you mentioned? Yeah, I think um, for everybody, there's a little bit of like you, it feels good to win, right? Like that's what we're all trying to do. And so when you get that, um, I think someone asked me like, how'd you sleep last night? I was like, the same I've been sleeping because I'm greedy and I want to win more games. So, you know, yes, I, I was proud of our kids. I think that they felt really good and we did some really good things in that game. Um, but the reality is you got to turn around and, and you have to try to do it again. And so that's where that momentum piece is of, you know, you have to consistently be good. You can't just kind of ebb and flow with it. And so um, for our kids, I think it's so critical for them to understand, you know, we want to be able to string wins together. Can't be one and then we take it back and then another. Is that my heartbeat or is that everybody feeling that? Okay. <laughs> Music right next door. Katie, or excuse me, Marissa, when, Kate, when you came here, Katie Nelson was an obvious asset because she knew your background and, and how you coached. How has she helped you the most? What, where, where has she really had an impact on... on you're familiar with your players and your players with, with you. Yeah, I think right now, I think she's got like a four to one assist to turnover ratio or something like that. So, um, yeah, I mentioned to Reed, who does our radio, that I love that because I love, um, you know, sharing the ball. But um, I'd like her to shoot it also <laughs> when she's open because, um, you know, I think sometimes you can be too unselfish. Um, but yes, she is a huge asset for us as far as being a floor general, um, understanding, you know, where people will be open. And also, you know, when she's on the court, she can be that extension to me. So she sees something in huddle, she's not afraid to say, hey coach, can we go this or can we do that? And she and I have that trust, um, that longstanding relationship. So it's definitely a huge asset. 
If you see her, though, tell her to shoot it. It's, <laughs> it's not working for me. <laughs> Anything else for Coach Mosley? Oh, Brandon. You hit on it earlier, but with Julie returning, what do you kind of expect her to inject into your lineup? Yeah, I mean, I think you saw in the Boise game, um, and you've seen other flashes and on uh, in our games, which she's capable of. Even I think in our exhibition game. So, um, you know, I think for Julie, it's one understanding like if you're gonna step into that role and be, you know, the guy, then you have to do that all the time. And I think sometimes she wants to not feel like she's shooting it too much. Um, but by doing that, if then the pass is open, then she can be a passer. But I want her to be a little bit more selfish um, when it comes to the shots because I told her you're putting your teammates actually in a worse position when you try to thread a needle or you know pass when you really should shoot it. Let them go get an offensive rebound. But I think the more comfortable she gets, um, I think she's starting to see where she has opportunities within our offense. And if you, if you were watching closely, when she came back, we tried to move her to the four and had Christina at the three. And um, I think she's much more comfortable on the wing. So we kind of made that shift back again. And so again, to Jim's point, like trying to learn where we can get the most out of um, each person's skill set. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm encouraged because I think that we're starting to understand what it takes to win. Um, and now the consistency part and putting together a string of wins is kind of the next step and that next lesson for us.